Hey guys, we've got some exciting news to share with you all. We just created a brand new Discord server, and we want you to join the fun. Whether you're looking to chat, game, or just hang out, this is the place to be. So make sure you hit the link in the description and join our awesome community. See you there. Changing the subject, Uncle Wang praised Jang for coming today as Uncle Wang's party was just about to visit a newbie level mystery realm to get a few devices. Uncle Wang asked Jang if he would like to enroll in them and degree up together. Jang frequent the provide as they entered the portal. A message popped up, stating that Jang had finished the group formation. The machine notified Jang that he had entered the secret realm. Stepping out of the portal, Jang couldn't assist, but surprise at the interior of the secret realm. Blue flames flickered throughout the hall as they endured to walk. The gadget said that they'd entered the undead zone. The secret realm guarantees a 100% drop fee of gadgets and gadget experience points can be calculated after the secret realm is completed. Exiting voluntarily halfway is equivalent to forfeit revel in and gadget. Uncle Wang became surprised to peer undead infantrymen and pondered why the name of the game realm device matched them with a dungeon of this rank. Jang pondered and also concluded that this dungeon is not going to be as easy to cope with. Zia at the back of Uncle Wang wondered whether or not it became because of Jang because he's a divine rank wakened a good way to stability it out. The celestial gadget matched them with a higher level in the secret realm. But Uncle Wang chimed in, noting that Jang is of the creation class, seeing the undead. The brunette girl counseled that they flip back. But Uncle Wang dismissed that notion. He knew that they do not come across mystery realms of this rank each day. How might they know the genuine strength of the undead in the event that they failed to strive? He reaffirmed that this time they could get fortunate due to Jang and get some outstanding system drops as he equipped his amazing sword. The undead squaddies roared in unison as they charged in the direction of two institution. Swinging his top-notch sword, Uncle Wang jumped in the air as he prepared to assault the undead. As he swung his sword, he requested Jang stand returned because the undead infantrymen are extra dangerous than a mean C rank monster. Once the route is obvious, they are able to improve towards the core of the dungeon. Cutting an undead soldier in half, Uncle Wang urged Zia to enhance his skills. Knowledge Uncle Wang's request. Zio Chan clasped her fingers collectively, murmuring an incantation. A blue air of secrecy radiated from her fingers as Uncle Wang's competencies have been enhanced. Gritting his enamel, Uncle Wang sliced via more than one undead infantryman. Jang, dropping back, located Uncle Wang and the others preventing the undead infantryman and wondered how they managed to live to tell the tale each time they end a dungeon. They constantly come again covered in wounds. Having said that, Zio has continually supported him. Jang even heard that Zio had grow to be an adventurer, because she changed into compelled to do so if you want to treatment her brother's eyes. Jang needed to get more potent quickly. And while he makes money, he can properly thank them for supporting him. Little Nine, gazing the scenes, inquired why there are such a lot of monsters and blood here. She wanted to consume them. Searching at the undead corpses, Jang smiled, noting that Little Nine had already sensed it. Little Nine materialized behind him with a devilish grin. Sensing Little Nine's hunger, Jang desired to test a number of Little Nine's potential. Little Nine's first potential is Poison Barrier Level 1. The capability is Corrosion. Jang lifted his hand as black purple mist materialized within the palm of his hand. He launched Little Nine as she jumped at the undead corpses. The monster corpses were corroded the instant they made contact. Little Nine's poison mist is so effective, however, the level of the monsters is simply too low, causing the increase fee to be gradual. It seems they need to consume more monsters. As Little Nine gobbled the corpses, Jang regarded back on the others. Uncle Wang and the other two are without a doubt partners who've been teaming up for years. In this type of brief time, they have already advanced to the depths of the dungeon. Because the poison mist is a place of effectability, and even though Jang cannot control it exactly yet, there might be unintentional accidents. 
then Jang ought to simply follow behind and cope with these monster corpses. All at once, a mini version of Little Nine materialized on Jang's shoulder, prompting him to appearance inside the course she was pointing. It appears Little Nine sensed sparkling blood. Turning to the direction Little Nine was pointing, Jang ought to see new undead rising. These undead rising were distinct from the others his team had killed. It became a shadow lurker with excessive stats, lurking in the shadows to hunt down weaker stragglers. However, in terms of attributes, those monsters were completely not so good as Jang, who has the attribute enhancement from the United Talent. Looking to check his abilities, Jang stretched out his hand. Little Nine transformed into toxic mist as he commanded, and she followed him. The shadow lurker suddenly moved towards Jang, who stood nonetheless as darkish pink mist formed around him. Jang readied himself and jumped towards the shadow lurker, fast remaining the distance. He tagged the shadow lurker with his poison mist. The shadow lurkers appeared surprised as pink mist began to envelop them. Jang raised his hand where the purple mist floated around then clenched it right into a fist. And then the shadow lurker had been right away gobbled by Little Nine. Numerous machine messages popped up, mentioning that Jang's stats have long passed up by using plus 50. Positive sufficient, those monsters are not any fit for him. And the devouring fee also will increase quicker in this manner. Little Nine sensed extra shadow lurkers appearing. There are simply so many monsters hidden on this dungeon. Jang unexpectedly felt concerned approximately Uncle Wang and the others. Smiling, Jang requested Little Nine to deal with the undead. Little Nine's shape started out to materialize with a pointy menacing appearance. A couple of minutes later, Jang arrived at Uncle Wang's place in conjunction with others. As he approached, he observed that Uncle Wang had become badly injured dealing with a set of monsters. Uncle Wang wielded his exceptional sword with both hands his back pressed towards Zio's back. Zio extended her arms towards the monsters, poised to make use of her talents for protection against the impending attack. As the monsters closed in on Uncle Wang and Shia, shifting rapidly to assault, Uncle Wang's blood dripped onto his face. Regardless of the ache, he gritted his teeth and locked eyes with the advancing monsters. He explained to Shia that every encounter with the monsters seemed to grow more difficult emphasizing the growing problem in defeating them. Realizing the dire situation, Uncle Wang acknowledged that they could not survive if they persisted at this pace. He turned to Xia and informed her to locate Jiang and evacuate right away. Confused, Xia looked at him and asked for clarification. In that moment of distraction, an undead soldier seized the opportunity, unexpectedly advancing toward Uncle Wang with the intention to attack by surprise. Uncle Wang gripped the sword with one hand and glanced aside, sensing the presence of the undead soldier. Confused by the unfolding events, he swiftly redirected his attention towards the monster. As he noticed the sword hastily approaching his head, he clenched his teeth tightly, realizing the gravity of the situation. In that critical moment, Jiang emerged and rapidly intervened. He extended his hand in the direction of the monster, and employed Little Nine's toxic mist capability. The mist enveloped the undead soldier, gradually corroding its frame and causing it to fall apart. As Uncle Wang witnessed this sudden turn of events, he was both surprised and confused, observing the soldier's frame vanish before his eyes. Uncle Wang felt a sense of bewilderment as he pondered what was unfolding. All at once, Jiang's voice broke through the chaos, asking if Uncle Wang and the others were all right. Startled, Uncle Wang turned his head and saw Jiang drawing near. His expression tightened as he remained silent. Jiang extended his hand to the side and deployed Little Nine's toxic mist, infecting the undead soldiers and eradicating them one at a time as he neared Uncle Wang and the group. As the undead soldiers gradually dissolved from the effects of the toxic mist, Uncle Wang shifted his attention toward Jiang. Holding his sword with one hand, Uncle Wang fixed his gaze on Jiang and inquired how a creation class awakened person like him could accomplish such feats. Jang halted before Uncle Wang, exuding a powerful aura. He turned towards him with a smile and explained that he possessed a hidden ability known as Toxic Mist. With a relaxed demeanor, Jang mentioned this, 
and then extended his hand to release Little Nine's toxic mist once again. Concerned for Uncle Wang's injury, Zhang informed Zio to help him in quickly transporting Uncle Wang to the portal of the secret realm. Zhang assured them that he intended to stay behind to provide cover for their escape. His assertion left everyone speechless. Uncle Wang's expression shifted to one of wonder as he gazed at Zhang, expressing concern over the danger. Despite Zhang's divine class abilities, Zio, also shocked, advised Zhang to join them instead of staying behind to confront the undead soldiers. As they conversed, the brunette lady brought her hand to her mouth and fell silent, her expression reflecting uncertainty. Zhang turned away from them, his body radiating a powerful aura. He glanced back slightly and reassured Uncle Wang not to worry, confident that he could handle the situation. With that, Zhang turned away from Uncle Wang and the others, his energy intensifying as he advanced toward the monsters. At that moment, a notification from the system informed everyone that the boss of the secret realm was being summoned, triggered by the number of people meeting the requirements at the final stage. As Uncle Wang watched Zhang move away towards the monsters, preparing to intervene, Zio interjected before he could voice his concern. She turned toward Uncle Wang and reminded him that Zhang was not reckless, urging him to trust Zhang. After careful consideration, Uncle Wang chose to trust Zhang. He tossed the sword to Zhang, instructing him to remember to return it later. Zhang caught the sword and reassured Uncle Wang, promising to return it without fail. The sword in question was the beginner conqueror's sword, boasting 25 speed points, 30 strength points, and a 2% attack speed bonus. Additionally, it featured an already active passive capability. Zhang examined the sword intently, his gaze fixed on the monsters with determination. With Uncle Wang's sword in hand, Zhang saw an opportunity to enhance the attack range of the toxic mist ability. This improvement filled him with optimism and resolution. Zhang activated the toxic mist ability, causing it to slowly emerge at the blade of his sword. The undead soldiers surged forward, aiming to attack Zhang. However, with great speed, Zhang swiftly evaded their moves. Using Uncle Wang's sword, Zhang expertly sliced through the monsters, infecting them with a toxic mist as he dispatched them into pieces. The monsters posed no challenge to Zhang, who was renowned as the top swordsman in the entire school. As Zhang focused on battling the undead soldiers, a much stronger monster suddenly gained momentum, charging toward him at high speed. This formidable monster unsheathed its sword and carefully closed in on Zhang, poised to launch a surprise attack. Initially unaware of the upcoming assault, Zhang hastily turned his head to see the monster charging towards him at great speed. With quick reflexes, Zhang gathered momentum and performed a powerful leap, evading the monster's strike. The force of the monster's attack was so immense that it shattered the ground into pieces where Zhang had stood moments before. Witnessing Zhang dodge its initial assault, the monster glared at him with a murderous gaze, tightening its grip on the sword. As Zhang was airborne, the monster launched another attack. Luckily, Zhang was able to block the attack just in time with Uncle Wang's sword. But due to the overwhelming power of the monster's strike, the sword lent to Zhang by Uncle Wang shattered into halves, causing Zhang to be thrown backward from the impact. Rapidly, Zhang planted his feet on the ground halting his momentum. He glanced to the side and was surprised to see that Uncle Wang's sword had shattered. The boss's strength surpassed Zhang's expectations. More concerned about the broken sword than the formidable boss, Zhang fretted over how to explain the situation to Uncle Wang. The boss of the secret realm was known as the Undead King, an impressive opponent at level 15. With sword in hand, the Undead King fixed a murderous gaze on Zhang. Suddenly, the undead king's body began to vibrate, and in an instant, it reappeared behind Zhang, poised to launch a devastating attack. Upon sensing the undead king's sudden movement, Zhang felt a wave of terror and wondered how the boss had achieved such incredible speed. With determination in his eyes, Zhang locked his gaze on the undead king and summoned Little Nine for assistance. Just as the undead king's sword was about to strike Zhang, Little Nine materialized and seized hold of the blade intercepting the attack. Little Nine fixed her gaze on the undead king and inquired of Zhang if she should eliminate him. Zhang responded affirmatively without hesitation. Thrilled by this permission, 
Little Nine rapidly shattered the blade of the undead king's sword with her bare hand. She extended her arms outward, her body emanating a powerful energy that radiated in all directions. Upon witnessing the destruction of its sword, the undead king grew cautious. Deprived of its weapon, the undead king opted to attack with its fists. Seizing the opportunity presented by Little Nine's distraction, it rapidly advanced toward her, intending to catch her off guard. Suddenly, Little Nine's eyes snapped open, and her body underwent a dramatic transformation. With a determined glare, Little Nine locked eyes with the undead king and deployed her tentacles in self-defense. Taking an offensive stance, she launched a barrage of attacks towards the undead king. Using her sharp tentacles, each strike as deadly as a sword. Gradually, her powerful tentacles began to dismantle the body of the undead king. She started by severing the left arm of the undead king, followed rapidly by the right arm. Little Nine impaled her tentacle into the head of the undead king, causing the boss's body to disintegrate to the ground. Holding the head of the undead king in her hand, Little Nine's body radiated with powerful energy as she approached Jang. Witnessing Little Nine's dazzling display of power, Jang couldn't help but smile in amazement. He marveled at how calm Little Nine remained in the face of such a formidable secret realm boss. Jang anticipated that defeating the boss would prompt the portal to open. As Little Nine approached Jang, an energy crystal materialized in front of him. As Jang gazed at the crystal, he contemplated its purpose and origin. The energy crystal ascended into the sky, gradually drawing magic from the corpses of the defeated monsters. Jang watched in amazement as this process unfolded before him. After several seconds, the energy crystal emitted a brilliant glow, summoning a giant monster into existence. The massive entity that emerged was called the Undead Tyrant, towering over Little Nine and Jang by twenty times their size. Fixing a menacing gaze upon them, the Undead Tyrant directed its attention towards Jang and Little Nine. Jang, observing the transformation of the energy crystal into this colossal creature, began to speculate whether the energy crystal itself was the true boss of the secret realm. Jang swiftly turned his head, gritting his teeth and commanded Little Nine to target and destroy the energy crystal within the undead tyrant. As the giant creature fixated its gaze on Jang, it let out a deafening roar. The undead tyrant swung a mace at Little Nine, but with great agility, she leaped off the wall, narrowly evading the attack. Having dodged the initial assault, the undead tyrant readied itself to strike again. It lunged at Little Nine yet again, but she swiftly leaped into the air, narrowly avoiding the attack. As a result, the monster's mace slammed into the ground, shattering it into pieces. At the same time as Little Nine remained airborne, with a fierce expression Little Nine constant her intense gaze at the undead tyrant and extended. While Little Nine remained airborne, with a fierce expression, she fixed her intense gaze on the undead tyrant and extended her fingers, sending sharp tentacles rapidly towards it. Despite her relentless assault, the boss effortlessly dodged each attack as if it were nothing. Jang was astonished to see the massive undead tyrant move with such incredible speed. Gritting his teeth, Jang pondered a strategy. Surveying the ground, he noticed several plants scattered among the debris. Seeing this opportunity, Jang decided to leverage his divine creation class known as Spiritual Master. Focusing closely on the plants, he realized he had only one opportunity to execute his mission. 